Okay, so I'll do a update about the case and everything else. And really nice case by Antec. It's the Antec 1100. Has loads of mounting positions for fa uh, case fans. Uh, six um, 120 millimeter uh, Cooler Master sickle flow fans in there, as well as two 120 millimeter fans for the H70, and it has an additional 200 millimeter fan for an outtake on top. That's one of their own, though. That's Antex own. I don't think it really has a name. Yeah, you have two USB 3.0s, two USB 2.0s, mic, and headphone, and the indicators. Yeah. On the front, I got a Zolman ZMM FC1 Plus. Really good fan controller. I've only got five on at the moment. I haven't got the sixth one, I've got splitters on each one, so each one's got two. Uh, the front, obviously, there's two 120mm fans. It's got some vents on the side here, both sides. So then you can take air in as well. On the side, we've got the Rogue um, sticker by Asus. Republic of Gamers. Uh, as we go on the insides of it, just bear with me. Right, we have. Just trying to take them wires up there. Right, pretty tidy setup, as you can see. have a fatality one 750 watt power supply got a MSI 670 GTX one, uh, two ter uh, no, two gig sorry <laughs> really good graphics card recommend these to anybody as soon as it starts failing a little bit I'll purchase another one and hopefully should give me a really big performance upgrade. I think it's other like three hundred pounds at the moment, so yeah, yeah. as you can see cable management wise really tidy. Apart from that bit there, which I said about in the other video. Which I haven't really got around to doing again because he only did the other video the other night. I've got sixteen gigs of G Skill Ripjaw X at uh, 2133 megahertz on each stick really good RAM, I'd recommend rip jaws to anybody prefer them over Cor Corsair Vengeance, had some Corsair Vengeance and didn't really get along with them other people probably rate them but I don't uh, 